Okay, let's give you guys some practice. So here I've got a square root graph. I've got a square root graph. And uh, I want you to come up with the equation for the tangent line and uh, the, the equation for the, uh, for the normal line. Remember, the normal line is always 90 degrees to the tangent line. So find, find the equation for the tangent line, find the equation for the normal line at location A. So the coordinates at this point would be A, comma, root A. Well, find, find the equation of the tangent line, find the equation of the, uh, the normal line. So press pause and have a go. Okay, so to do this, uh, let's, let's tackle the, uh, the tangent line first. So let's, let's look at the tangent line. So the tangent line will, will be in the form of y equals mx plus c. So we need to know the gradient. So no matter what, because we want to find the equation of this tangent line, we need to know the gradient at this, this point here. Uh, we need to know the gradient. So we need to differentiate this. So differentiating this would be, um, so, so, so by differentiating, by differentiating this, by differentiating this, we're going to get dy by dx. Once, uh, once you have an equation for dy by dx, what, what it means is it, it allows you to work out the gradient anywhere along, along here. Um, so, so, so we need to, we need to differentiate this to find the gradient. So, going back to here, we need to know the gradient. The way we obtain the gradient is to differentiate this. So, uh, so imagine this as being x to the power of a half. Now differentiate. So the half will come down here. That will be the half. The x stays intact, and then the power gets minus by one. And then, uh, and then now imagine this as one block multiplying another block. We don't understand what it means to have a power of a negative, so we would jump to one over that same exact that same exact thing. And then now, now power of a half turn it back into a square root. So you so here you've got one fraction multiplying another fraction. So it's going to be top times top, bottom times bottom. So dy by dx will be this. So um, so so the so dy by dx will be this. But we want to know. So hang on. So going back to here. So dy by dx will be uh, will be uh, one over two root x. So what this means is that it allows us dy by dx allows us to work out the gradient anywhere along here. But we only want to know the gradient at this location, at A. So we would put A into here. So, so the gradient, the gradient at this location would be 1 over 2 root A. So now, so the gradient, so the gradient, so this gradient here would be 1 over 2 root A. So, so our equation of it, the equation of our tangent line will be given by this. But we still need to work out the intercept. We still, you see, look, looking at our tangent line, looking at our ta tangent line, we now know the gradient. We now know the, the gradient at this location. It's 1 over 2 root A. But now we need to find out the intercept. We need to find out this intercept. So, we need to find out this intercept. So, uh, when, when you have a straight line and you know the gradient, if you know that, if you know it passes one particular point, then you can work out the, uh, the intercept. So, if you look at this here, we know the gradient right here, and we know it passes through this one particular point. This one particular point is a comma root a. So this is your this is your x, and this is your y. So now we can put this into the y. We can put it into the y, and then uh, and then this is your this is your x here. You can put it into the x. You can put it into 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 the x. So that will then take us to um, that will then take us to to here, because um, so so remember the coordinates were uh, a comma root a. So this is your x, this is your y. So uh, so you would put this into here. You would put this into here. This gets multiplied to the top. That will then give you a, and then uh, two root a here. And then don't forget you put this into here. It, well, this y here will then become this. Well, think about it. This whole thing here will then will then take you to here. So now you can work out C. So lots of ways of doing this. You can think of it as one block, one block, one block. You can take away this block, but I prefer to multiply everything by by two root A. So that would then give us this. This times two root A would give you A. This times two root A that would then give you this. So now it's blah blah. Um, you you want to find you want to find this you want to isolate this C. So take away A from both sides. 
hang on, let me think. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah. Sorry, sorry. Hang on. Um, so, so, so when, sorry, hang on. Let's start from here. So when you, when you times everything by two root a, that will then take you to here. So now, um, now it's this times this. So merge the two together. That will then give you two a. And then, uh, and then now, now take away a from both sides. That will then give you this. Now here you've got one block multiplying another block. Divide both sides by by um, by by this block. That will then give you this. So C is given by this. So now we can put this back into 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 here, back into here. So then this thing here will then become will then become this. So this is the equation of our of our tangent line. Now to uh, to find the equation of our normal line. Remember when when you have a um, when you have a gradient, um, let's say two five. So the gradient here. So so this the, the steepness of this thing is uh, is two over five. But if if you want, so this is our tangent line. If you want something that's ninety degrees to this, then um, then 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 what you do? If you want something that's ninety degrees to this, here you've got a, a gradient of two over five. If you want something that's ninety degrees to this, then then if you have something where where you have a height of five. And the across of two, then for some reason, for some reason, for some reason, this is always 90 degrees. So if you want something that's 90 degrees to your tangent line, turn this upside down, um, five over two. But because it's going down here, you need to stick a minus in front of it. So um, so looking at looking at our looking at our tangent line, if you want something that's 90 degrees, so so at the moment we've got our tangent line. If you want something that's 90 degrees to our tangent line. Then, then look at the gradient. Take the reciprocal of the gradient and then stick a minus in front of it. So the reciprocal of this will be this, but then we need to stick a minus in front of it. So that will then take us to this. So, so the, so, um, so we've got our tangent line. Um, the gradient of our normal line is given by, is given by this. So, but, but now we still need to find the intercept. Remember, th this is our normal line here. Uh, the the intercept of our normal line is right here. We need to find we need to find the um, the intercept. So we know the gradient, and then we know that it passes one particular point, a, comma, root a. So now we can put, so this is your x here, and this is your y here. So we can put this into the y. We can put this into the x. That would then give us that would then give us this. And then now, uh, now add uh, add this thing equally to both sides. That will then give us this. So C is given by this. So now we can put this into here. So the equation of our normal line will be well. This thing here will then become will then become this. So this is our our equation for our for our normal line. Okay.